On this episode, I'm going to be showing how you can add extra armor on your door so that you can prevent intruders from kicking in, breaking in your home, protecting you and your family. Stay tuned. With a lot of break-ins and theft being more common nowadays, I think it's only right that we talk about home security. And what better way to do that is by adding extra armor on your door. So other than your window, I think your door is another vulnerable part of your home that could easily get broken into, kicked in. So in this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how you can prevent that, so let's go. So let me first talk about the anatomy of your door and the weak spots on your door. This is actually my outside door. If you look right here, you have your deadbolt. This one's actually a cipher lock version that I have. You have your door latch right here. You have your strike from your latch. And this one is where the plate is for your deadbolt. Look at where your deadbolt goes through. This is actually just a thin piece of metal. This is what's preventing that, that lock from going through this very very weak point of your door jam right here because you've cut out so much and this is only what's actually left that's what's preventing this from getting kicked in and broken into same goes here this is pretty much a lot more thicker which is great but if you think about it if you close your door and you see your latch what hear that click so let me do it again and hear this click so when that engages if you actually look right there, the only part of the only amount of latch that goes inside there is probably a few centimeters, probably let's say a quarter inch. If you forget to put your deadbolt on, this can easily get kicked in. It probably if someone probably is just leaning on your door or just have a little time of uh, vibration on there, this could pretty much come out. If I take apart these door strikes, you can tell that a lot of these door strikes have two inch screws on them, even one inch, some of them even half inch screws. If you put a half inch that only goes onto your door jam, that's not gonna hold off enough for this. Same thing goes with the deadbolt strike plate right here. We're gonna replace this with three inch screws. So that's probably the longest and best one because the three inch screws will actually screw into your door jam plus into the framing of your home. So let's go ahead and take these off. Look how thin this piece of metal is. And sometimes homeowners, they tend to grind this right here just so that they can make it fit on where the hole is. So that even weakens this part. Yeah, if we get kicks in, this can easily break off or bend making that door very, very, very vulnerable. So with these two strikes taken out, I'm gonna introduce to you this plate right here. I am no way sponsored by any of these um, products. I just wanna show you what I'm doing to protect my door from getting kicked in. So this door strike is a little thicker compared to the ones that we're gonna be replacing. So look how thicker this is compared to the door, the old door strike that we have. And what's great about this is instead of being secured onto two points, in this case you have two points, two points equals four. This has multiple. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got nine points of contact onto where your door um, jam is going to be. Now this is very easy to install. Just take these two and it should align really well with your old door strikes. Given there might be a, a, you know, a little bit of exposure right there, but it should line up really well, just like that to the standard US standard door. With that not being screwed in yet, I'm gonna go and close it and see if it fits. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna go and align up with my latch right here and my deadbolt as well. I'm gonna kind of extend your deadbolt a little bit so that you can see where it's gonna go and hit. So it looks like it's gonna be a good position and we can now secure that in place. So another to take note, about eighth inch thick, when you place this against the existing hole right there, you might end up having to chisel just a little bit away on the inside of your strike holes. If you have a chisel, relieve a little bit on the inside to make up for that thickness. Got a half inch chisel right here and just take a hammer. Or if you have like a little tiny Dremel, 
just Dremel, just a tiny little piece off so that you can compensate for that thickness. Line it up. Yep, that's a three. The old one that we had was two and a half. When you're doing outside like this, you want a three inch screw. Before we start screwing the rest of the screws in, we're gonna go test it out again, see if it latches and locks. Perfect. There we go. Fits perfect. Go in the opposite direction, like so. And then you go and screw it afterwards. That will prevent your door jam from splitting. But if you don't do that, you can, you can just do pre-drill these holes. That will work as well. And go in the reverse. That three inch screw will go straight into the framing of your home. That two by four, making this nice and secured. So that's only one installed. Let's install the last remaining five. So I am using an impact driver. That thing is nice and secured. Ain't no way you're gonna get this off now. Better than what we had before. There's no more weak points. This whole thing is pretty much solid. If you made it to the second part of this video, thank you so much. To fully make this a tank door, we're gonna add an extra added security, which is this reinforcement lock right here. Again, all the tools, including this reinforcement lock, and this bar right here, I'll leave the link on the description down below. Again, I'm not sponsored by them. If you're just interested, link on the description down below. But this is a fairly easy device to install. All you gotta do is spring activated. So if you go like this, it retracts back. So you just pull out and then lift back and it will go and lock. So you're gonna do the same thing. Now we're gonna install this right on right here because this area right here is where pretty much where all the impact is gonna happen. You can install it at the top of the deadbolt, the bottom of the latch right here. So be mindful if you do end up installing this on the bottom of the latch, that if you have small children, there's a possibility that they could play around with it and possibly you know, unlock it just like this. So installing it at the upper half on top of the deadbolt it's, it's, that's where I'm gonna install it because the impact is probably gonna be around this area anyways. Installing this at the very top or the very bottom of the door, I don't suggest it because that's not where the impact is gonna happen. And there's still a possibility that this could fail if you put it on the top or the very bottom. Installation, this is super simple. Just pull this back out on the unlock position and you are just gonna go sandwich this between the door and the door jam. If you have enough clearance just like this, then you are good. You don't need to chisel out or relieve any part of the door jam. But if it is wet, if you're trying to wedge this and you're having a hard time, then you'll have to mark it to where it's located. Chisel out the about 1 16th, cause that's about the thickness of this, and then install this. Now this does come with hardware. The half inch screws probably is if you're installing this like inside your home, but I don't know why you're, you're gonna be using that, just settle with the three inch. It's very important that you use the three inch screws because these are the most important ones that will hold this lock. For me, I'm gonna be installing this right on top of my cipher lock. If I install it here, this cipher lock will definitely get in the way. When you figure out where you wanna install it, you wanna make a reference mark on the door jam, like so. For me, I'm gonna mark it as well on there so I know how deep I am gonna be installing this. Looking right here at the back, that's how deep I'm gonna go and install this. Because some doors, like this one, this sticks out a little past the door jam a little bit so I can't make it fully flush. Just open up your door. It's gonna be a temporary screw. Again, we're gonna go reverse. We're gonna go reverse to prevent this from splitting. And then, there you go. So from there, you can adjust this to the depth that you want. The drill bit size that I'll be using is a 330 seconds. Again, this one, I'll leave the link on the description down below as well. The 
Finally, we're going to install the 3 inch screws. That's pretty much it. Simple as that. Now let's go test and close this door and see the fit. Just like that. So there you have it friends. You have a fully tanked out door. So now you have these steel plates right here. You have your reinforcement lock like so. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So there you have it friends. That's how you can make your door fully tanked out fully reinforced just by adding this reinforcement lock and this bar right there your door is going to be super hard to get kicked in keeping you and your family safe again if you're interested on these products i'll leave the link on the description down below click on those quick links and let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this if this added security is fully helpful for you if you found this video helpful please hit that big thumbs up press the subscribe and notification bell and i'll see you friends on the next video stay safe out there